That little young ain't up to something. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose. Yo, yo, what's that word, man? What's good, fam? What's up with it, B? Yes, sir, bro. For people that's watching this interview right now, they may not know what's going on. Who I got in front of the camera? LBG Murder, the biggest. Nah, for sure, sure, bro. Now, shit, where you originally from? C5, bro. This side out of the Oh, for sure. Now, what part of Dallas is that? Playing girl. For sure, for sure. Now, like, for you going up over there in that area, like, what was it for you? Shit. Just thugging. Yeah. Just doing crazy shit. The young nigga be doing. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Now, I said, like, was you playing sports or anything like that growing up? Shit, middle school, like, self grade. Yeah. Self grade. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I seen a, a picture, bro, of uh, Monte. That's your partner, right? Yeah. Mon? Yeah, Monte. Yeah, I had, uh, I used to do, like, bas basketball scouting and shit, bro. I seen one of his games, like, a while back. He played for, like, the Mighty Kings. That shit crazy for real. I think he did play basketball, though. <laughs> he was straight, though. But, uh, like, growing up in that area, bro, do you feel like it forced you to grow up at a fast rate? Oh, shit. You, you gonna do what you wanna do regardless, really. Like, that's just what I wanted to do. Like, you gonna do what you gonna do regardless. So, you don't think, like, seeing the shit that was going on out there, like, played an effect on you? Yeah, shit, yeah. So... So, like, because I know you just started rapping and shit, bro. Like, growing up, did you think you was going to be a rapper? Or what did you want to be? Hell, nah, they just... They just want to, they just, they, they want to be some shit. They just want to have money. <laughs> yeah, that was the end goal. They weren't thinking no rapping, though. No. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, shit, like, what made you start rapping? Because juvenile. said juvenile? Yeah, juvenile. For sure. Now... Cause I know, I know we talked last time. You said you spent like eleven months in juvenile. Yeah, yeah, eleven months. Damn. So going in, like, what was your mindset like going into juvenile? Shit. Uh, I had I had turned myself in. I already knew what I was gonna go do. You know how long you was gonna sit down for? Yeah. For sure. Now, while you were in juvenile, was there anything you picked up on or learned about yourself or learned about anything else? Shit. That shit. That shit really, I don't know. That shit ain't, ain't do nothing. <laughs> Damn. Damn, for sure, for sure. Now, like, what was your, your mom, like, thinking, like, when you was in there? She was chilling. All college. You get a lot of college now. Yeah. You get chill college. She was chilling. For sure. Would you consider yourself, like, a bad kid coming up? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure. Did you have any siblings? Yeah, I got a brother and a sister. Brother and a sister? For sure, for sure, for sure. Y'all around like the same age? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, when you started making music, was it like initially, like as soon as you came out of juvenile, or when did you start it? Yeah, no, when I first got it, I made some of my partners and shit. But, nigga, nah, yeah, nah, nigga really just 2023. God damn. So that yeah, was. 2023. Was that like broad day type time? Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, when you dropped the when you dropped Broad Day, you know what I'm saying, around the first videos or whatever, did you expect your shit to catch on that quick? Shit, Broad Day was really like, babe, they look at me as no rapper. It was just smoking Broad Day. I wasn't even taking that shit serious. Like, I wasn't. I ain't dropping nothing else after that. Really, yeah. Niggas wasn't looking at me as no rapper. Yeah, they were still looking at me like a little better. Damn, yeah. I haven't seen niggas call you that. So that's your name. Yeah. And the LBG Murder, your rap name. Yeah. So they can call you both type shit. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, I know you had the song with uh the real LBG. What's the update on him? The real LBG K. Yeah. You gotta put a K on that shit. Yeah, well, fine, but well, nah, fine. uh, he finna be home. He gonna be home. Uh, April, April, I think. Yeah. Get out. Straight up. Now the name, bro. Uh, I know it's like some controversial shit behind the name. How'd y'all come up with the name FBG? And what does it mean? Shit. We FBG, that's our shit. That's my shit now. I'm FBG, so I just kept it. That was my name was when I, when it popped, so that's what I'm gonna be. Right. <laughs> that's just down. Yeah, <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now, uh, at what point, though, did you realize you could really pop with the music shit? Like, when did you, or what happened before you say, yeah, I can really go far with this shit? Shit. 
She went to uh, labels and ain't no other calling my phone and shit. Was that right after Jizzle smoking? Yeah. Like three weeks after. Three weeks after that? Yeah, like three weeks after. God damn. Nah, that shit wild, bro. Nigga really took off quick. Now, uh, besides the labels reaching out, was it or is there anybody else that reached out to you was like surprised about it or shocked? She uh yeah, yeah, raw dicks. Like, dicks, famous dicks? Yeah. Damn. And then the Alamo CEO and shit. My, my CEO, Jeff. Yeah. I fuck with Jeff. I'm my boy. So that's gonna go with I see. literally was like, mm. Straight up. straight up, straight up. Now, uh, can we expect some music from you and uh, Dex? Shit, they wanna do that. Shout out, shout out, Dex. Fuck with him. Now, uh, what's your current thoughts on the overall Dallas music scene right now? How do you feel about it? Shit, the door open. Shit, that shit is live right now. That shit jump. Yeah. So, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like you and uh, Rundown Fo really kicked the dough in on this shit for like as far as starting the whole new Dallas drill wave. For sure. Like hearing that, like, do you do you think like you the new the leader of the new wave type shit? Do you feel like you the face of it? Hell yeah, I'm the face of this shit. Like uh, this shit, yeah. Like you know, but it, it's levels to this shit though. But yeah, like, I'm the face of this shit. How would you explain the levels as far as what? Like you know, it's more niggas than like. More mainstream and shit like that. I ain't putting them in the category. Like, I ain't gotta say nothing. You know who like yeah. shit you in. Yeah. But like, this shit, whatever y'all call it, underground, whatever y'all wanna call it, this shit, I'm gonna face this shit for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, shit, do you still consider it underground? Shit, I ain't. Yeah. But a lot of niggas here, yeah, a lot of niggas underground. Yeah, it's a lot of niggas underground for sure. You're right. Yeah, but shit, nah, you got some some hot shit going because every time, every song you done got on, every song you done dropped, it hit at least a hundred thousand. Yeah, that bitch gotta do a hundred thousand, but in a minute, two hundred, two hundred fifty gonna be the new norm. The new normal. Damn. Yeah. So starting off, what was your new like? What was your normal starting off? Like ten k? Nah, like 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 one time spend like a month. Mm-hmm. Like a month of hoes doing like when I first started for like 20, 20, 30k. Damn in a month? Off the rip? Off the rip, yeah. Yeah, damn. For so, sure. Now uh linking up with Lil Rock, bro. Like what's y'all connection like? What's y'all relationship like, bro? And how'd y'all come up to sing I'm trying to see? Shit, it was my song. I just in, I sent him some song, like these these some songs you can get on. He picked I'm trying to see, he got on that Call me, let me hear it that hard. That's hard. Where'd y'all shoot the video at? Uh, we shot I seen in LA. At uh, Atlantic, Atlantic Graduate Studio. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, that's live, man. That's live, for sure. Now, uh, what would you say the difference is between being a signed artist and being an independent artist? Shit, like... It's like, it make you, like, you ain't got no choice. Like, you doing that shit, like... Then it come with a lot of benefits and shit, you know? Like, push up shit. The bread with all that shit. For sure, the marketing shit too. Marketing, yeah. all this shit. For sure, for sure. Now it's safe to say you're a full time rapper right now, huh? Shit, yeah, this is not crazy. You can say that. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Now, uh, as far as like the differences going on in, in the city, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of differences, a lot of people have issues, shit like that. Uh, do you feel like that helps or hurts an artist's career? As far as like beef with rap other rappers? Like, it's gonna help you at first, but like, I don't think like, you should keep in going up out that shit, like trying to, man. But like, when you first start, yeah, it's gonna be a bug. They trying to see what you talking about. They trying to see who you beefing with. At uh, what level, though, do you feel like that shit should just cut down, you know? Shit, like, whatever, whatever you feel. Like, whatever you feel. So, now, uh, you shoot, I ain't gonna lie, I seen your videos, but you shoot like with a lot of different videographers. Uh, who's your favorite videographer to shoot with? Uh, Retro, J Money, and then it, the, the new dude who just shot cleaner crew, Cold Eye Visual. Yeah, that Cold too. He, he got some for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now that single Clean Up Crew, bro, that's probably one of the wildest songs I, wildest songs I done heard, and wildest videos I done seen, bro. Like, did you get any flack for that video? What you mean? Like, was the feedback? Like, what was the feedback? Like, what was people saying? It, it, you know, it, it was both sides, then. 
I don't be really listening to that. I don't be listening to that shit. But, you know, I just be laughing at that shit, good or bad. Good feedback, back to laugh at it. Niggas still tapping in? Yeah, niggas still don't fuck with the boys. Nah, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, I do gotta ask you, bro, because you got Mika World, that single, you know what I'm saying? It's a big song right now. Uh, what was the creative process for that song, and what does she mean to you, if you can't speak on it? Uh, no, 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 Straight up. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Now, shit, uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I seen like a little post saying that 1090 Jake was reaching out, wanted to tap into the Dallas Drill scene, bro. Did you see that? No, I ain't see that shit. Yeah, he said he wanted to tap in and reach out. Oh, 1090 Jake, who that? The nigga that be, uh, oh, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Really. Yeah. How you feel about that? Shit. I ain't, I ain't know that shit. That shit was so dope. Yeah, straight up. Now you got a lot of partners, bro. I be watching like these documentaries, bro, and they be like covering y'all niggas. It's, it's a lot of y'all for real. I really don't though. It really ain't a lot of like all my partners in jail. Yeah, that's what I was finna say. How many people you think you got locked up so far, y'all? Like four, five niggas. Four, five niggas locked up. Yeah. God damn, bro. How that shit be affecting you? Like you be taking, it be taking a toll on you or some shit. Shit, I don't take no toll, but like it's still like yeah, for my brothers though. Yeah. Niggas don't want them in jail. Like, yeah. yeah. No, straight up, bro. Now I know a partner named Hank. Yeah. <laughs> I know y'all got a, a partner named Hank, bro. I know uh y'all rap about him and shit, bro. He passed away. Like when you heard the news, like what was your thoughts? How'd you feel about it? I never fucked up. Like this bro though. We bang about that shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now shit like what kind of person was he, if people wanna know? Is he a real stand up guy? I mean, ain't, ain't no, no, nothing like, ain't no nigga ever said they play with him. Ain't no nigga around, ain't no nigga that's rapping, none of that shit touch him. No nigga who claim they mind, ain't nobody, no nigga who touch them. Straight up, straight up, shit, sorry for the loss, bro. Now, uh, a couple years ago, we had Mo3, Yellow Beezy, Trap Boy Freddy. They was doing their thing, like being the face of the city type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did that inspire you or affect you any kind of way musically? Nah, it didn't inspire me, but like, them, they, should, they were hard, my three hard and them bitch too. Yeah. Yeah, now, like, kind of leading from that, as far as like being an artist blowing up, you know what I'm saying? At what point do you feel like an artist should leave their hometown? When that bag right, when you can. When you can? Yeah. yeah. But not like when you can bring somebody with you, can't just leave yourself. Bring the members with you. For sure. Now, Shay, would you leave and where would you want to go? Shit. I don't even know. Shit, I'd probably go Cali or something. Say Cali? Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Now, uh, <laughs> Dallas, bro, we, we kind of big, what well, was big on like the boogie area, the dancing shit. Was you ever like into that shit? Nah, what you mean, like Big Boogie? You nah, know? like the Boogie dancing type era of the music. Uh, nah, like talking about like the dance around the rap. Nah, that shit. Nah. Damn, you never into that? Nah, yeah. <laughs> so, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The new Dallas shit is crazy. Young nigga don't need, like, young nigga, nigga listen to that shit, but yeah, nah, that shit got old fast. Like, you were never shit. making no videos dancing and shit? Nah, probably, I don't know. That shit just, that, I don't know, that shit too lame. <laughs> dang, dang, bro. I don't know how that shit still buzzing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. The, the new wave niggas in Dallas right now, crazy. They don't give a fuck about none of that. That shit wild, bro. Now, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it, bro, but Donald Trump released some new shoes. They, uh, $1,000, bro. They all go. He released them, bro. Did you get a chance to check them out? I seen that shit. Would you cop a pair? Hell yeah, nah, I don't buy that shit for nobody. That shit for <laughs> I fuck with like me. I fuck with Trump though, but we ain't buying that shit. <laughs> Damn, they went hard or what? I'm not buying that shit. <laughs> uh, what's up? What's up? Now, uh, for FBG murder, bro, do you have a female celebrity crush? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't fuck Glorilla. Glorilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Type in big glow. Uh, for sure, bro. Now, uh. <laughs> I had looked this up before you got here. It's a, like a survey, bro, saying that ninety percent of the men are tricks. Like, what do you feel about those analytics? Do you, would you consider yourself a trick? Hell no. Hell no. I'm on my 
bitch, son. Find my bitch, shit, though. Yeah, I mean, they ain't tricking if that's your woman, right? Yeah, they ain't okay, I feel that. Man. I feel that. For sure. Now, uh, if you, <laughs> if you can name your top five artists in DFW that you personally fucked with or fuck with, who you got? Five rappers in Dallas. Yeah, DFW. Uh, X, Strap, Fred. Three. CJ. CJ. Oh damn. That's hard. Right. Shout out to the boys. That's a tough file. Now, uh, could you put us on some Dallas slang for people that's not from here that's watching this shit right now? Or some words that you use? This shit, I don't even know. Like you gotta catch that shit my route. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. He's gonna tap in with it, bro. Now, uh, Charleston White, are you familiar with him? Yeah. How do you feel about his content, bro? Nigga bitch in Do you feel like he be speaking the real about some shit sometimes or what? Yeah, yeah, that nigga wild bitch. <laughs> that nigga disrespect he could be my own. I disrespect he is. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nigga might be the top disrespect next round is up. For sure. Now, uh, I know you gotta get somewhere, bro. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Now, shit, what you want your, your fans or your supporters to know thing about you, bro? Fuck with y'all, everybody that fuck with me, I fuck with them. Keep running up that clean up crew, I'm finna drop again. Album coming, y'all fuck with that. I know what it is, man. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Real nigga, bro. I appreciate you pulling up on me again, gang. Okay? For sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> He gon' roll when it's right Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight We gon' catch